What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Pretty over here to read your messages for mid-November to mid-October. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. And if you're looking for answers in reference to a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Um, if at any time anything I say resonates or if I've helped you in any way, please click the like button. Also, if you would like to exchange energy with me in the description box, you'll see my PayPal donation link and my Amazon wish list and everything is greatly appreciated. Thank you to those who have showed me love in any type of way thus far. I appreciate you guys. Um, my website is in the description box below as well and you're going to be able to find my weirdo wash up there now. So I'm happy to tell you guys that it is now posted onto the site and is ready to go. I appreciate you guys yet again. Um, you guys may be dealing with an Aquarius. First of all, the Aquarius, uh, the stars here, which, you know, signifies the Aquarius or even a Cancer, right? Here's the thing, though. With the dreams and the love, like, you guys may be getting visited by, like, a succubus or an incubus or something like that. Um, some of you guys may have literally felt a hand over your mouth or somebody holding you down or something. If any of you guys know, um, any ways to help people combat this please put it in the comments okay we're all here to work together there's you can put because another thing right whoever this person is it's like they're from the past and they're delusional with the with the chariot card here i feel like this person is like literally knows you don't want to be with them and or or you don't want to deal with them or you stop dealing and they they're still going forward with this like this is like a love spell they trying to do it through your dreams and all kind of shit and, and, you know and it's just weird this person is giving me the vibes where it's like they're not taking no for an answer like I feel like you gotta beat them off with a stick anyway again um if anybody knows any dream deities or any ways to help um with dreams. Um, I know Psalms 91 before you go to sleep and also working with petrified wood and black obsidian uh, together is going to help you, right? Another thing too, this person may be a soulmate, whether it be a close friend, it is with the love here, it looks like it's a lover, but you guys have soul ties, right? You might want to cut cords. This is why it's like, abracadabra, think about me. And it's like, I left you years ago, <laughs> actually, months ago, weeks ago, I left you. They, they're not trying to take no for an answer. Somebody has, um, this person may be at a distance. Someone may live in the mountains. Um, somebody has a pet that passed away that's around them and their name is like Lady or something like that. Yeah, put a bowl of water under your bed with some camphor in it. This might help somebody. Keep us posted, okay? Like. This person might have a hunchback. Or maybe extremely skinny or something like that. <laughs> This person is delusional, okay? They're delusional. Like, they're probably... This person is a narcissist, right? Like with the sunglasses here, they're watching you. I feel like this person is very hairy, whoever they are, for some of y'all, right? Anyway, um, it's like this person is trying to project these dreams onto you. Like, look at us, we're happy. Or trying to remind you about a time when y'all... And it's like, you know, it, they're stuck in the past. This person is stuck in the past. And they drunk. <laughs> and they drunk. All right. For some of y'all, this person is a drunk, and I keep picking that. I kept picking that up this um this go round for reading. Not today. Look at that. D d not today. Not dealing. Feeling hurt. Avoiding a call. Boundary. Still angry. Like I said, I left you a long time ago. We don't deal with each other. Why are you sending me subliminal messages through the dream state, weirdo? <laughs> weirdo. And, and in these dreams, we're smiling and we're happy, but we not, you're not showing about the time when you had did such and such, right? Because that's really, you know, what it is. This person trying to give you like nostalgic feelings. And it's like, that's not even what it, what it really is. You see this seduction and healthy choices. I really do feel like this person is trying to 
bring you back to a place where you were, where maybe you could have fell for them sexually uh, in a way, or they could be, you know, um, like I said, with this succubus incubus energy, trying to propose, um, or astrally rape you or put you in a feeling of, um, sending love bombing energy, love energy to you in your dreams, sexual energy as well. All right, you guys. <sighs> I feel like, <laughs> you know how they say like a thousand ways to die, a thousand and one ways to die. I feel like a thousand and one ways to be weird. Like, <sighs> how many ways to be weird? Let me count the ways. This person, this person is devoted. <laughs> how, look at that angel of love. And third eye chakra, the thinking man. This person is literally trying to impose, <laughs> impose, make you think about them. Like, uh, like force you to think about them. They do not want to accept that this is over and done with. For some of y'all, this person had financial issues. They're broke. <laughs> okay. You may have been their stability and that's why they could be trying to come back into your life. But I feel like they're trying to butter you up before they come. Um, by um, sending that love energy, right? Somebody may receive a call in the middle of the night when they drunk. Like, I'm coming over. I, I can't live without you. Look at that. Honeymoon. So it's like I said, somebody could be like, you got a honeymoon in paradise. Somebody could be like proposing like a trip to you or sending you um, telepathic messages about when things were sweet with you guys, when you were in the honeymoon phase and stuff like that. But you do have pay attention to the red flags and it's safe for you to love reconciliation. Stop telling me, stop trying to make me feel like it's safe for me to love and for you to come back because that's not what it is. I'm paying attention to the red flags. These are not my thoughts, right? These are not you guys' thoughts. Yeah. Pay attention to the red flags. When, when y'all was together, y'all were never happy. You was never, you, you, you were never, this could, this did not work out, okay? For some of y'all, you could have been in a family dynamic with this situ with this person. And I feel like the only thing, like y'all can even share kids together, but the only thing that was really, that really worked out for y'all was the sex, right? It's like, cause I feel like the unit, there was no unity there. However, there was sex. Yeah, I feel like this person is a seductress. I feel like that's all they have to offer. Look at that. With this seven of swords, with the it's safe for you to love and reconciliation. That's what I'm saying. It's like you trying to you trying to play me. You trying to trick me. Like it's safe for me to love. No, it ain't. <laughs> You're pretty weird. And you've proven that. So now you're trying to mess with my thoughts, right? Trying to make me feel like, yeah, we can be. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But somebody, you getting ready to take this person to court and they only trying to butter you up because, um, <laughs> yeah. They don't want you to take them to court or they want you to change your story or something like that. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of dream energy here. Yeah, you might have this person blocked. Like, you might look at that envy, envy. There, this this person. Let me say this: if you're thinking about letting this person back into your life, right? Let's just say you were. Um, let's just say you were entertaining the idea of letting this person back in your life. Even though this person feels like they're coming towards you or they want to come towards you or they may be proposing you some type of reconciliation, right? They're still mad. Because I'm getting that narcissistic energy like, you dare leave me? Like, this person is digging in a bag of tricks. I feel like wherever they are in life, it really, really sucks. Okay, and they're looking to come out of the 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 that dark tunnel that they in to go to your to 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 your 
side of, <laughs> okay? You see how the grass is greener over there? The grass is greener over there. They're jealous, okay? Somebody is jealous with the chariot here that you moved on and you the queen of pentacles. So they're trying to get to you. And they use, for some of y'all, they're using magic to do it. And they're trying to manipulate you into thinking that this could be a happy family. For some of y'all with the contract here, this person is really like, <laughs> but you my wife, but you my husband, or, but I thought we were going to get married. You know, some of, some of them is proposing marriage, especially with this honeymoon card over here. Like, I feel like y'all, when you stop dealing with this person, I'm talking about you upgraded, like furniture and everything, <laughs> okay? Your wardrobe, your hair, your furniture, you done got a pet, all right? Look at that. This is straight, like, like, um, <laughs> this person is delusional and they're very upset. You could have found out that this person was actually um, dealing with somebody else. I, I, and that could be the, the reason for the demise of the relationship. But listen, this person is a drunk. I keep it. And, and, and if they're not, if it's, there's some type of substance that they're dealing with. And if it's not a substance, this person is delusional. Okay, you see this? Delusional. And the crazy thing about this is like, I feel like this person has the gift of gab on, on top of them being delusional. Like, I feel like they can even say to you, like, how could you leave me? You know, I need you. I'm delusional. <laughs> like, 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 I feel like this person may even say that. Like, you know, I, I'm sorry I did that. You know, I'm sick in the head. You know, I'll be sick in the head. What? Lord. When all they want to do is just get back to where you are. They want to get like you. I feel like you were some type of stability for them. All right. But I do feel like this person will stab you right in your back. With the rest and rejuvenation, I feel like, you know, this person, um, like, like I said, you walked away from this person. But I also do feel um, like this person uses spirituality. I keep seeing people that's using spirituality under the influence. It's crazy. Look at that. With the rest and rejuvenation and appreciation, this is like a person going into meditation just to tell you something. <laughs> like, come on. Can you? I guess they feel like, look, I can't text you. You got me blocked. I'm not going to show up at your house because you're going to call the popo. Fuck it. I'll, I'll send you a telepathic message. <laughs> like, what? What? You didn't try smoke signal. Try smoke signal. Like, did you have to go that far? This person is crazy. This person is crazy. What is this? This person is crazy. They want you to trust them again. This person wants you to trust them again. Why? Look at that. Release your ex. And trust at the bottom of the day. No, I don't trust you. I don't. Tr they really want you to trust them again. And and I feel like they trying to use all the tricks that they done used, you know, before. But except <laughs> somebody got their hands on some magic. I don't know if you knew this about this person before. They could have actually been using magic all along. But I feel like you're waking up to this with the enchantment and dreams. I do feel like you're waking up to this. Okay. Again, if any of you guys have any um idea how to help other people with these succubus incubus energies and and and, and protection in their dreams, please comment. Okay. Yeah. Like so, like they really trying to make you. <laughs> they really trying to make you confused on whether you should accept them, whether you should continue to be alone or accept their um sexual or emotional advances. They're trying to make you miss them, too. They want you to wait for them. Some of y'all is like, I'll, I'll, leave me alone. They could be even using sex, right? 
I, I really do feel like this person is looking at their finances. They're looking at how nothing works out for them. Um, and they're seeing you growing and glowing and they want that energy back. Okay. They want that energy back. I feel like nothing goes right for this individual. And now they trying to come look at that manifestation. You see that? And physical activity. I, I feel, I feel the energy of astral rape here. Okay. I feel the energy of this person doing spells to try to make you think about them. Would look at that with the compassion. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Why? This is how you know this person is delusional. We've been talking about these, these weirdos for months, right? But they're still playing the same trick. This is how you know that these people, this, this person is not playing with a full deck. They're not. Block, bond, banish this person out your energy. Pray them away. Um, I, I don't, you know, they're very persistent. But just put up boundaries, you guys. Put up boundaries. This person is crazy. Wife, you could be married to this person, or they could they trying to offer you marriage. They could be trying to that's that's another thing, too. This person could be trying to um yeah, when you sleep, see this milady and sweetheart, like they sending you love messages through your dreams. Like I said, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, they had that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hope. Please have hope for us. Please. No. I feel like whoever this person is, they probably weird, weird like that. You see how his, this bandana is tied around? I feel like this person does that. It's like, <laughs> not only are you weird, but you're lame. Yeah. This person only wants to come back because nothing's going right for them, you guys. Stay away. I don't think I need to tell you that, though. I think that's what you guys are doing. Block this person with the expression here. I feel like do not even respond. Do not even respond. Breathe. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. I do feel like this person is trying to give you anxiety too. I do. And I, you may be like, like I said, if you broke up with this person or left them in the past like you gotta be stressed out about seeing them in your dreams it's like leave me alone this is harassment and you're tired i know for a fact that you guys are tired and also with this breathe i feel like this person may have tried to smother you before or choke you or put their hands over their mouth and they could be doing this put their hands over your mouth and they could be doing this in the astral as well like holding you down to try to you know um astral astrally rape you or have sex with you in a dream state or you could be experiencing sleep paralysis yeah eat a healthful diet get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health i feel like yeah you can't sleep you can't sleep <laughs> Pay attention to your health, you guys. Pay attention to your health. Don't be so stressed out that you forget to breathe. Or, um... I, I do understand why you guys will be missing sleep. Because it's like, I don't want to deal with this person. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to deal with this person. Take a, um... You guys, keep, stay in your spiritual baths. Um... Because your, your aura needs to be healthy as well. All right? Look at that. Healer of the ages. Okay? You guys are very powerful. You may want, um, want to be lighting up Jesus candles. You guys are um, very powerful. But I feel like this has caused you a broken heart. You first need to heal yourself before you can go out and help and heal others. Okay? I do feel a vampiristic energy from this person. But I always do. All right, every time I read you guys, you guys really want to be um, showing yourself self-love and um, putting up boundaries, just keeping this person away. Um, and um, um, spiritual head washes is going to be able to help you with this as well. I hope that helped you guys. <laughs>